Jerome Carley, born Jerome Carfunkel, June 18, 1918 to June 6, 2013, was an American physical chemist. Jointly with Herbert A. Hauptmann, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1985 for the direct analysis of crystal structures using X-ray scattering techniques. Topic: <laughs> Early life and education. Carly was born in New York City, on June 18, 1918, the son of Sadie Helen Kuhn and Louis Carfunkel. He was born into a Jewish family with a strong interest in the arts. He had played piano as a youth and had participated in a number of competitions, but he was far more interested in science. He attended Abraham Lincoln High School in Brooklyn, and would later join Arthur Kornberg awarded the Nobel in Medicine in 1959 and Paul Berg a winner in chemistry in 1980, as graduates of the school to win Nobel Prizes. As a youth, Carly enjoyed handball, ice skating, touch football and swimming in the nearby Atlantic Ocean. He started college at the age of 15 and received his bachelor's degree from the City College of New York in 1937, where he took additional courses in biology, chemistry and math in addition to the required curriculum there. He earned a master's degree from Harvard University in 1938, having majored in biology. As part of a plan to accumulate enough money to pay for further graduate studies, Carly took a position in Albany, New York with the New York State Department of Health, where he developed a method to measure dissolved fluoride levels, a technique that would become a standard for water fluoridation. He enrolled at the University of Michigan in 1940 and met his future wife, Isabella Lugoski, who was sitting at an adjoining desk during his first course in physical chemistry. The two married in 1942. They were both supervised in their Ph.D. studies by physical chemist Lawrence Brockway. Though Carley completed his studies in 1943, he was awarded his Ph.D. the following year. Jerome Carley was a former president of both the American Crystallographic Association (1972) and the IUCR (1981–1984), as well as a co-recipient of the 1985 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work on direct methods. Among the many additional honors he received for his work, he was elected to the National Academy of Sciences in 1976 and the American Philosophical Society in 1990. Research and Nobel Prize Starting in 1943, after completing graduate studies, Carley worked on the Manhattan Project at the University of Chicago with his wife Dr. Isabella Carley, one of the youngest scientists and few women on the project. In 1944, they returned to the University of Michigan, where Carley worked on a project for the United States Naval Research Laboratory. In 1946, they moved to Washington, D.C. to work for the Naval Research Laboratory. Carly and Herbert A. Hauptmann were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1985 for their work in using X ray scattering techniques to determine the structure of crystals, a technique that is used to study the biological, chemical, metallurgical, and physical characteristics. They were able to employ the Sayer equation in centrosymmetric structure, developing the so called direct methods. Through isolating the position of the atoms in a crystal, the molecular structure of the material being studied can be determined, allowing processes to be designed to duplicate the molecules being studied. This technique has played a major role in the development of new pharmaceutical products and other synthesized materials. Carly and his wife retired from the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory on July 31, 2009, after a combined 127 years of service to the United States government, with Carly joining the NRL in 1944 and his wife two years later. At the time of his departure from government service, Carly held the Chair of Science as Chief Scientist of the Laboratory for the Structure of Matter. Retirement ceremonies for the Carleys were attended by United States Secretary of the Navy Ray Mabus, who presented the couple with the Department of the Navy Distinguished Civilian Service Award, the Navy's highest form of recognition to civilian employees. Topic: <laughs> Personal. Carley was married to Isabella Carley, with whom he had three daughters, all of whom work in scientific fields. Louise Carley, born 1946, is a theoretical chemist. Jean Carley, 1950, is an organic chemist. Madeline Carley, 1955, is a museum specialist with expertise in the field of geology. Carley died of liver cancer at the Leewood Healthcare Center in Annandale, Virginia. 
Topic References Topic External Links 2005 video interview with Jerome Carley by the Atomic Heritage Foundation Voices of the Manhattan Project Center for Oral History Jerome Carley Science History Institute Bonning, James J., Van Coyren, David K., eds., 9 September 1987. Isabella Carley and Jerome Carley, transcript of an interview conducted by James J. Bonning and David K. Van Coyren at Naval Research Laboratory Washington, District of Columbia on 26 February 15 June and 9 September 1987 PDF. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Science History Institute See also List of Jewish Nobel laureates